right, so for the article show page, if we go to the articles, um, obviously if we click on this, it won't go anywhere because that page doesn't exist. So let's go ahead and create that. So uh, let's get rid of the contact and the index and the welcome. Uh, we'll keep everything else for now. And let's create a new file under the blog directory and save it as, we'll just do article underscore show .html. And let's copy what we got from the article and paste that in. And let's remove everything from below the header to uh, right above the footer. So everything in between the header and the footer. And I'll just say H1, this works just to make sure. Now let's go to article underscore show .html. Perfect. So what I want to do is um, if we go back to our mid fidelity wireframes, we didn't actually design this in Photoshop, but we are going to use most of the same styles. So I'm going to use what we did from the index show article index for the header and such. Um, the main thing we're going to be focusing on here is the typography as well as the share box. So let's go ahead and copy the same styles over um, for the um, title and subtitle. So let's grab one of the posts. So the title is the do list. So let's wrap this whole thing in a uh, post show content. And let's do a class of skinny wrapper in here. So inside of here, let's do a header. And then inside the header, we'll do a P with a class of date. And I'll just copy what's on here, Friday, April 10th. Right, and then we want an H1 with the title. So the do list. All right, that looks good. And below here, let's do an HR tag. So if I go and go back and refresh, it's already starting to take some styles. Perfect. Let's go back to see what this looks like. All right, obviously we want everything to be centered like it is on the other page. So let's take the styling we have from there. Let's go ahead and go back to post or post project. Let's see, under the post wrapper, let's put a comment and say a post show. All right, then under here, let's do the post uh, show content. So under here, let's do a uh, ID of post show header. Let me bring the article show into the other tab. All right, so we have the post show content and the header. So this should actually be post show content. Then inside of here, we'll grab the header. Then for the header, let's first do text align center. Go back and refresh, see how that looks. Looking good. Um, I misspelled April. There we go. All right. So inside of the header, let's uh, do the dot date. Let's do font size of 0.9 M. Let's do a color of light and, and a margin of zero. Go back and refresh. See how that looks. All right. That looks good. Now the title, the H1, uh, we need to get rid of that uh, margin. So let's try margin of zero. That looks good. Might be all we need on the H1. All right. Now we need to center that HR. So let's do an HR. Let's uh, just add a margin of, let's say 2M auto. See how that looks. Perfect. Um, let's go ahead and add the class of wrapper padding. So that way it's not pushed right up against it. Um, that did not take effect. Is that the right class name? Wrapper padding. Oh, wrapper underscore padding. There we go. Save and there we go. Beautiful. So the next thing I want to do is add 
below the header, let's do a ID of content, which will hold the post content, obviously. So the next thing I want to do is just, uh, let's go to hipsum.co and grab some filler text. So this is a hipster ipsum. It's pretty awesome. All right, now back here, let's do a p tag. I'm just going to add some, let's copy this right here. Narwhal sustainable. And let's add an h2 tag, put that there. So add a p tag, tab it over, just so we have some content to play with. Perfect. So save and refresh, see what that looks like. So this actually looks pretty good. Most of the styling it's getting is from the application, um, all of this that we defined already. So it looks pretty good. Uh, let's style the show box or the sh um, share buttons. So under the content div, let's add one, an ID of share underscore box. Then inside of here, let's do set a P tag and say share. Um, what I wanna do is have this be dynamic and we'll do that once we get into Rails. But for now, I'm just gonna sh say the title of the post. So share the do list and then under here i want on twitter let's do one for facebook and one for i believe it's google dash plus refresh all right that's looking pretty good all right and just for the styling uh these are actually going to be a tag so for now i'm just going to stub it out and we'll do all the fancy stuff once we get into uh, rails but just to make sure we styled it correctly all right that looks good now let's go to our post page and add a share box styling share box first off let's do text align center and then for the p uh, let's style that um, with a padding bottom of one rem. So we'll do zero, zero, one rem, or one M and zero. Margin of zero. Let's make it a bold font. So font weight of 700. Uh, let's make it all uppercase. So text transform uppercase. Let's do a color of the dark. Font size, let's make it pretty small, uh, 0.8M. All right, let's give that a try and see how it looks. All right, we're looking pretty good. All right, then let's select the I tag. Uh, let's make the color dark. Let's make the padding be 1M and 1.5 on the sides. And then the, let's go and see how that looks. Beautiful. And let's make a hover state for that. Change the color to the highlight. And let's make sure to add cursor uh, pointer. We're doing this because uh, we're gonna add some JavaScript for when you click on it, it's gonna pop up with the Twitter share box or the Facebook or Facebook share and Google Plus share, et cetera. All right, so let's save that and refresh. Perfect. Now let's uh, add those uh, HR tags on top and bottom. So let's add one between the content and below the share box. Perfect. And in here, I'm just gonna say, uh, let's actually move this from here. So in, outside the header, let's make the entire post show content have the HR um, that is centered. There we go, much better. And let's actually bump that up to, let's look, see how 3M looks. Space it out a bit more. I'm liking that. And then below here, we will add the discuss comments. But for now, uh, we'll just hold off and get to that when we jump into the rails. So obviously, this isn't 100% complete. Uh, there's still a few pages we need to do, but we knocked out the 
vast majority, I would say 90% of it. So in the next video, we're gonna begin creating our Rails application.